Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Like subscribe, and share to help support our channel. If you have not already done so, pick up your free trial copy of the Currency Exchange Planner and check out the all-new Currency Exchange Planner Companion, voted the number one pre- and post-RV planning tool for the Dinar and cryptocurrency communities. Also, pick up your free blockchain-based secure Brave browser, and get paid in crypto to surf the internet today. There are many different ways to make money in crypto, the Brave browser is one of the easiest. Both the links are in the description box below this video. First article of interest for today, the Finance Committee comments on the central bank's decision to stop the flow of the dollar. The Finance Committee commented, on Friday, on the central bank's decision to stop the dollar from flowing into the market with the aim of floating the dinar and reducing its value, in order to fill part of the budget deficit and the needs of the government. The committee's reporter, Ahmed Al Safar, said in an interview with Baghdad Today, that reading the central bank's intention to stop the flow of the dollar and floating the dinar to fill part of the state's budget deficit is impossible, but it may be in harmony with the current situation to compensate for the shortfall in oil revenues. Al Safar added, at the same time, the central bank may also be unintentional because of the curfew and the suspension of most life activities. And the rapporteur of the Finance Committee in Parliament, Ahmed Al Safar, spoke last Sunday about the authority of the central bank to issue a set of decisions on withdrawing the commission of the US dollar. Ahmed Al Safar said, in an interview with Baghdad Today, that the decisions issued by the central bank regarding the commission of withdrawing the US dollar are considered within its powers and it is who determines the interest rate, whether by depositing or withdrawing. Al Safar added, Iraq's revenues from selling oil go to the Ministry of Finance account at the U.S. Federal Reserve, which the central bank has a branch in, explaining that the process is that the revenues are transferred to the central bank account and the bank transfers it to the Iraqi dinar to the Ministry of Finance to pay salaries. Employees. He continued. The process of withdrawing the dollar and depositing it is related to the policy of the central bank which is monetary policy. The central bank has the right to raise or reduce interest rates, and this is one of the methods of monetary policy that you use. On Sunday, March 29, 2020, the central bank of Iraq issued a set of decisions regarding the U.S. dollar withdrawal commission and included a document issued by the bank and received Baghdad today, the commission for withdrawing cash for the U.S. dollar which comes from the incoming transfers to the bank to our accounts in the American Federal Bank, as well as the transfers received to banks from other banks by a rate of 7,000. The bank added, the amounts of the above remittances are transferred to banks by 75% in cash and dollars according to the above commission, and 25% pay Iraqi dinars at the official bank rate, 1,182 dinars to the dollar. He continued, the banks must spend the 25% above on their remittances customers at a price of 1,200 dinars to dollars and submit their requests at the end of each month to the accounting department at the central bank for the purpose of addressing the two price differences in our accounts in Iraqi dinars. And he continued, Banks can spend the full amount of the transfer received in the Iraqi dinar if the customer desires to do so. He stressed, the above mechanism does not include customer deposits in dollars in cash, where it is paid to the customer in full, but is limited to customers who receive remittances received from outside Iraq of any kind, and internal dollar transfers between their banks and our accounts. Next article of interest. The central bank reveals the reasons for the high dollar exchange rate. The central bank of Iraq revealed, on Friday, the reasons for the high exchange rate of the dollar against the dinar. The Director General of the Financial Operations and Debt Management Department, Mahmoud Dagger said in a statement, the high dollar exchange rate is due to the overlap of a set of expectations for the financial crisis that Iraq is going through caused by low oil prices and accompanied by the impact of the coronavirus and the curfew, which resulted in what resulted it was interrupted by economic activities, 
pointing out that all of these factors are added to them by stopping the selling of currency outlets in the central bank, which led to a rise in the dollar exchange rate and the depreciation of the Iraqi currency. He added that the central bank was not able to stop the rise in exchange rates due to the stoppage of the auction of currency sales, and there is no real interventionist management at the exchange rate from the central bank, as it was in the past, noting that the window stopped, and there is no real economic activity in the market only food, and we find that the demand for dollars rises, and with it the exchange rate rises. Dagger pointed out that the issue is related to future expectations and that the reassurances were not at the required level regarding the payment of salaries and the talk of printing the currency, which led to a lot of efforts to convert what he has from diners to dollars. Dagger added, I think that with the intervention of the central bank from next week and the expected high price of oil, it may reduce the severity of the increase in the exchange rate, explaining that the central bank announced the opening of the dollar sale window next week, and it has already opened the doors of certain transfers for the purposes of food and medicine, and it didn't work out much because it stayed open for a short time. He pointed out that if there is reassurance in terms of oil prices and improvement in public finances due to high levels of revenue and because of the intervention of the central bank and foreign currency injection into the market, then all of these factors, if combined correctly, and not one of them, will exchange rate stabilize Iraq. Next article of interest. Trade Bank of Iraq. As per the instructions of the Central Bank of Iraq, Go to the use of electronic payment tools and financial transactions and avoid dealing in cash in order to preserve public health. The management of the Iraqi Trade Bank decided, or that the commissions be smaller for the citizen and the merchant when using the bank cards through all point of sale, POS, devices in all the commercial centers in support of the current stage. Next article of interest. Union Bank had foreseen the end of physical cash. Edwin Bautista. President and Chief Executive of Union Bank of the Philippines, has forecast that the coronavirus outbreak will drive banks to shift towards digital currencies, leaving physical cash behind. As Euromoney reported on April 3, Bautista noted that the pandemic provoked a heightened demand in online banking services, pushing banks to revise their digitization strategy. Certainly, this pandemic amplifies the need for all banks to go digital now. Bautista said. Going further, the exec projected the beginning of the end of hard cash, especially if central banks fail to deliver notes and coins to banks and automated teller machines. Bautista stated, One key realization here is that the longer the disruption, the more tenuous the traditional cash supply chain becomes. Thus I expect that banks will be more open to testing, developing and deploying digital cash and currencies. QR codes and maybe even cryptocurrencies and digital tokens. The crisis will fast-track the shift towards digital, which represents a tremendous new opportunity for banking, according to Bautista. Union Bank's experiments with blockchain. Union Bank has indeed demonstrated a proactive approach to blockchain-related developments. Last July, the bank launched a payments-focused stable coin pegged to the Philippine peso. The coin dubbed PHX, is designed to function as a stable store of value, medium of exchange and is a programmable token with self-executing logic. That same month, Union Bank successfully piloted a blockchain-based cross-border remittance from the Philippines to Singapore. The project eventually aims to provide millions of unbanked Filipinos with the ability to use financial services by connecting rural banks to the country's main financial network. Meanwhile, other world banks continue to advance the development of their own digital currencies. The Bank of France officially launched an experimental program to test the integration of a central bank digital currency, CBDC, for interbank settlements, while the Bahamas announced plans to adopt a CBDC no later than 2020. Hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as more articles of interest videos are posted. Be sure to check out the Denarian blog, Facebook and Twitter as I also update on those platforms as well.
Pick up your free trial copy of the newly upgraded Currency Exchange Planner and check out the all-new Exchange Planner Companion before you leave. Use the promo code, THEDENARIAN, to get 25% off at checkout when you decide to unleash the full planner's abilities, along with the mobile application added free for being my subscriber. Register today as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program. If you do not keep your savings in an real asset like gold, you risk everything as the fiat system fails. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold, as tomorrow may be too late. This program is made so even low-income people can buy gold, by offering it one gram at a time, which makes it affordable to everyone. Get involved today, it's free to register and secure your family's savings tomorrow. All of the links to these invaluable programs are available in the description box below this video. Go check them out, knowledge is power, using that knowledge is powerful, over and out for now, the Denarian.